let's take another example in lin in linear equations the question is given as two complementary angles differ by 8 degree then find their angles right so what are all the what what is complementary angle if there are two angles whose sum is 90 degree then those angles are called as complementary angles right so let's assume that one angle is x let's assume that one angle is x degree right so what would be <coughs> what would be the another angle in the question it is given as that uh, two complementary angles differ by 8 degree right so if one is x then another one will be x plus 8 degree right then only their difference would be 8 right so we have got two angles now find their find the angles so complementary angles the sum of complementary angles is 90 degree right so the first time angle then sum of an, uh, plus another angle their sum should be 90, 90 degree so let's solve this linear equation and find the value of x this will become x plus x plus 8 that would be 90 simply let's simplify it better 2x equal to 2x plus 8 equal to 90 2x equal to 90 plus 8 will become minus 8 that is 81 90 minus 8 would become 82 so x will become 82 divided by 2 this is 41 degree so we have got 1 x equal to 41 degree thus this will become one complementary angle right what about another another one would be x plus 8 x plus 8 means 41 plus 8 that would be 49 degree so this is your another complementary angle so in this way we have got two complementary angles one is 41 degree and another one is 49 degree this is your solution got it so this was very very simple question we know that the sum of two complementary angles angles is 90 degree that is the condition which that is the formula you, we have used here sum of two complementary angles equal to 90 degree and we have assumed one of the complementary angles is x and we used the condition which is given in the question that is the difference of two complementary angles is 8 so we have assumed one complementary angle is x so another would be x plus 8 right got it moving to the next question thrice a number increased by 6 equals 36, 39 then find the number right so here in the question it is asked for that we need to find out the, find the number so let's assume the number is equal to x right thrice a number means 3x is increased by 6 is equal to 39 thrice a number increased by 6 equals how much 39 then find the number so we need to find the value of x this has become very simple linear equation in x so 3x will become 39 minus 6 this will become 39 minus 6 will be how much 33 so x will become how much 33 upon 3 because 3 is in on the multiplied multiply in, in the multiplication in the left hand side so it in the right hand side it, it will become as a divisor so 33 upon 3 would be how much 11 so we have got x equal to 11 and we have assumed that the number is x row so 11 is the that number which we are looking for got it 
okay moving to the next question a number when divided by 4 is reduced by 21 then find the number here it is it is given that if we divide the number by 4 then how much it how much it, it, it is reduced that that is 21 so again let's assume the number is x let's assume the number is how much x so x is the number given and it is divided by how much 4 then how much it is reduced if we subtract from the x, uh, x by 4 by the number then how much it becomes 21 right number when divided by 4 divided by 4 means x by 4 how much it it, it is reduced 21 from from which itself right so this is your linear equation in x we'll simplify it let's take lcm as 4 1 4 is a 4 4 x minus 4 1 is a 1 x equal to 21 4x minus x is 3x upon 4 equal to 21 3x upon 4 equal to 21 4 will go in the right hand side as a multiplication and 3 will go as a division right so x will equal become 21 into 4 upon 3 3 7 is a 21 4 7 is a 28 so x will become 28 so we assume that the number is x and in the answer we find the value of x so this is the number x equal to 28 that <coughs> that would be our solution got it what we have done is we assumed uh, the number is x and then whatever has been said in the question we have uh, put that condition and formed a linear equation in x then we simplified that there's uh, that linear equation and figured out the value of x which was uh, in the question it was asked so moving to the next question a number exceeds its 4 7th by 18 then find the number this is again the similar question let's assume the number is x right a number exceeds its 4 7th 4 7th right 4 7th of x by how much 18th so if I take the 4 7th of the number and subtract it from itself then how much is the difference 18 right a number exceeds its 4 7th by 18 then find the number so we got a very simple linear equation in x and we'll simplify this and we'll find out the value of x and that would be our answer right so let's uh, take the LCM 177 7x minus 7 1 is a 1 1 4 is a 4 4x equal to 18 right 7x minus 4x will be 3x upon 7 equal to 18 so x will be how much 7 will go as a multiplication and 3 will be go as a division 3 6 is a 18 and 6 7 is a 42 right so we have got the x, x is equal to 42 so the number is 42 which is in the question it has been asked for so this is your answer very simple question moving to the next question one fourth of a number is increased by 7 and the result is multiplied by 3 thus we obtain 36 find the number this is very simple question whatever has been asked in the question just follow that condition and you will be, will you will get your uh, number you will get your uh, value of x 
so let's assume the number is let's assume the number is x right now what has been said one fourth of a number one fourth means x by four of the number is increased by seven will increase it by seven then the whatever the result is multiplied by three let's multiply it by three and thus we obtain the number as how much 36 so this is the question given we have found the linear equation in x again let's simplify this and find the value of x 3 is in the multiplication here so it will go in the right hand side and in the division right so x by 4 plus 7 equal to 36 minus 36 divided by 3 3 12 is 36 so it is 12 so x by 4 plus 7 equal to 12 right we are just simplifying the question how much is that x by 4 plus 7 equal to 12 so x by 4 7 will go in the right hand side 12 minus 7 12 minus 7 is 5 right so x will become how much 5 into 4 5 4 is a 20 so this is your number we have assumed the number was uh, x and we got the value of x so this is your answer this is the number clear moving to the next question the sum of three consecutive even numbers is 48 then find the numbers similar question we have done in the uh, previous video that the sum of three consecutive odd numbers was given right similarly here the sum of three consecutive even, even numbers is given so what we'll do we'll just assume the even numbers are let's assume the even numbers consecutive even numbers are x x plus 2 and x plus 4 right now in the question is given that the sum of all these consecutive even numbers is how much 48 so let's take the sum x x plus 2 plus x plus 4 is equal to how much it is given 48 right so we have again got the lin got the linear equation in x so we will simplify this linear equation and find the value of x and as soon as we get the value of x we will put that value of x in uh, this and then we will get our linear equation uh, we will get our even numbers right so let's simplify this x open the bracket first x plus 2 plus x plus 4 equal to 48 this will become x plus x plus x 3x plus uh, some some of the constant terms 3x plus 6 equal to 48 3x plus 6 equal to 48 move 40 uh, move 6 to the right hand side so 3x will become 48 minus 6 48 minus 6 is 42 so 3x will become 42 and x will become 42 upon 6 3 and they will become 14 right 3 1 is a 3 and 3 4 is a 12 so we have got x equal to 14 and what what our we have assumed the uh, even numbers those, those were x x plus 2 and x plus 4 so put the value of equal to 14 x equal to 14 so this will become 14 14 plus 2 16 and 14 plus 4 18 so these are all consecutive even numbers which the question has been asked for right similar question we have done uh, previously in the uh, in the previous uh, lecture 
there uh, the sum of the three consecutive odd numbers was given and we we had to uh, figure out the odd numbers similarly here uh, similarly here the uh, sum of the uh, three consecutive even numbers is given clear moving to the next question in a class of 40 pupils the number of girls is three-fifth of the number of boys then find the number of boys in the class right what is what is has been asked in the question find the number of boys so let's assume the number of boys in the class are x let's assume the number of boys in the class are how much x right so the number of girls in the is the three-fifth of the number of boys so how much would be the number of girls three-fifth of the number of boys so this number of girls would be 3 by 5 x right if the number of boys are x the number of girls would be 3 by 5 x in the question given right now in a class of 40 people means total number of students are 40 means total number of if we sum girl and boys then how much it, it, it is given a class of 40 people pupil so this is equal to 40 right total number of students are 40 so if we sum number of girls and number of boys th that should become 40 clear we have again got a linear equation in x we will solve this linear equation and we will figure out the value of x and and uh, that would be our answer right so let's solve this linear equation let's take uh, lcm as 5 so 1 5 1 5 is 5 and 5x five uh, plus 5 1 is 1 1 3 is 3 3x three equal to 40 right so this will become 5x plus 3x will, will become 8x upon 5 equal to 40 8x upon 5 equal to 40 so this will become x equal to 40 into 5 upon 8 right 5 was in the division so it will go as a multiplication and 8 is in the multiplication so it will become as a division 8 1 is 1 8 5 is 40 so 5 into 5 is 25 right so x is the equal to 25 so the how many the uh, number of boys are there in the class was boys are 25 this is your answer because you have you have assumed that number of boys in the class are 25 